to order. Um, is there any adjustments to the agenda? Um, I was. Uh, the only adjustment is that you know we're taking up reconsideration of Article Seven, but also the other petitions. Via so that didn't yeah. need to be on the warning. Yeah, though. we should be fine. Okay, that's what I was um, worried about. Okay, great. Well, if there's no uh, adjustments to the agenda, uh, we'll move on to public comment. Um, now, just to clarify, is public comment on any subject, or is it just pertaining to what is on our agenda tonight? Public can always comment on that. Right. Okay. Great. Well, then we have public comment. Uh, we have some public on. Uh, if you want to unmute yourself or, or raise a hand, and we can call on you if you have any comment. Uh, caller ending in 97. Do they have a comment? I see that they unmuted. No, okay. Okay, well, great. Then, um, hearing no or seeing no other indication of anybody unmuting for public comment, we'll move on to discussion. Uh, we're discussing the morning of a special meeting for reconsideration of Article 7 from the annual meeting. So, as we are aware, a, a petition for a revote of our uh, Article 7, which is the actual budget. Uh, went around and was certified by our uh, clerk that it had the proper signatures and, and everything. So um, that is where we are. And that meeting, though, at first we thought we were going to be able to warn it um, uh, more quickly. Um, if we had originally voted by Australian ballot, that would have been the case. Uh, but since we did it as a floor, it, a floor vote, even though on the floor somebody asked for a paper ballot, um, we do need to warn between uh, 30 and 40 days ahead. And we have 60 days from the time the petition was sent in to, to hold our meeting. So uh, what we're looking at is um, 30 days from now is July 10th. So that's the earliest we could possibly do it. And then um the latest we can do it is august 5th august 5th, 5th. yes so um just kind of start by thinking of those dates and i do have some um i print out a little calendar and wrote down when the rochester and stockbridge select board meetings are to well, we did uh based on the info i gave you today we did find out that the stockbridge select board has moved their meetings from um Seven four and seven eighteen to seven eleven and seven twenty five. Yeah. Just to put that up. Did you already know that? Um, I looked on the website okay. right ten minutes ago to right. confirm that. Sure. So, because I was like, well, wait a second, like, they're not going to be on Fourth of July. Yeah. Um. So, um, at the same time as a um, petition for reconsideration of our Article Seven, the budget, a petition went around as well for asking. Uh, if the voters of Rochester Stockbridge Unified District um, will vote all public questions by Australian ballot. And so that was the wording, all public questions, meaning our entire... It's on your warning. There's the three petitions we received on the warning. Oh, there's a... Right, okay. Oh, I see. Those are the three. Shall the voters of Rochester Unified uh, District adopt all budget articles by Australian ballot? Shall the voters of the Rochester Stockbridge <coughs> District elect its moderator school district district treasurer by Australian ballot? Shall the voters of Rochester Stockbridge Unified District vote on all public questions by Australian ballot? Could you explain what the difference between those three are if it's all saying the same thing? Well, there are di different things, right? Okay, so the exactly. budget is its own specific article, right? Article one. Yeah. Yeah. And so, well, no, I'm I'm talking about under Article two. So the petition we received was request. We request they had three different questions that they signed to provide okay. us. So they've asked us to do our budget via Australian ballot. They've asked us to vote on all elected directors by Australian ballot, you've already elect your school board members by Australian ballot, right? Yep. So that's not part of the question. That's okay. why it's those other positions. 
And then finally, any other questions you may ask moving forward would also happen to be an Australian bell. But, so you could have special questions like. Oh, okay, on our warning at yes. our meeting. It's well, actually all your business moving forward would be. Move to Australian ballot. Oh, interesting, okay. I, yes, I please. presume that, that the, um, uh, at the meeting we could uh, say a yes on two and no one Abs being, you're yeah, absolutely correct. correct. Yeah, and that's that's why you would warn them as different articles. Because mm -hmm. okay. the the voters of your town may decide we want to elect all of our elected officials via Australian ballot, but we want to leave the budget and other questions separate, right? Mm -hmm. Or we want to move to we're going to do the budget and all of our elected officials, but if there was a another question the board asked, we may not require that to be done Australian ballot. Am I making sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. If all of those were voted in the affirmative, then all your business would be done via Why Australian okay. ballot moving forward. So this gives some different options for. Well, that's how we were petitioned. All right, that's right. That's what the those questions it's the were voters. called that way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, great uh, discussion. Yes, Robert. Just want to note something that was said before the board, some other board members came in. Is that Article One is a a yes vote is to recons is to say we will reconsider and then warn a new budget. If they vote no, then the present stand present budget stands. Correct. But we still had to warn it out thirty days. Yes. And then if it was voted yes, they would like the uh, reconsideration of the budget to to happen, then we have another 30 days to warn a new, another vote. Okay. What if they say no? On the then... same budget, the board will have to decide. And we, you will, you will warn a budget. Understood. Yeah, okay. My understanding, Article 1 is written, is required by state law. Since uh, the budget was voted in the affirmative, then we have to offer that budget in the affirmative. Um, if the budget was turned down, then we have the option to uh, decide whether we want to adjust the budget that was turned down or in, in some way or, or, or rewarn it at the original amount. But since it was voted in the affirmative, then that's what we're doing under. And we're going to decide on Article 1 whether or not they want to reconsider that vote um, in May. It's a, recons do. it's a reconsideration vote. It's oh, not it's not the original a decision. Correct. It's a reconsideration. But it, it could have been the other way if they hoarded it. So say they vote yes, yes okay. then we have 30 days, then we can literally hold right. the same meeting okay. again. It's because of, the, of how the petition was worded, that it's a positive as a reconsideration. Yeah. Whereas if it was, if they could have worded it to, um, that was to actually have a new budget vote right off. No. No, 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 they have to do it this way. Okay, okay. It's confusing as, you know. It is. So, yeah. <laughs> but, the way to think of it is yeah. the way it's reading is shall the voters of the school district reconsider Article 7, which was originally approved, right? So, you can ask to reconsider. So, that's what you would be putting forward to your voters. Do you want to reconsider Article 7, which okay. had been approved? If they vote yay, that means. Article 7, which had originally been approved, is no longer approved, right? They want it reconsidered. And as a board, you'll warn a special meeting to take up Article 7. If they vote no, Article 7 stands. Okay. So it isn't that if they vote yes on Article 1, that they can then discuss a different We don't take up the there's budget. Nothing, that there's nothing time. warned. Correct. We have to have it warned, and, and that warning is providing um, the electorate an opportunity to understand what's going to be voted so they can come prepared and ready um, to ask the questions or to cast their votes. So, okay, that could be um, short or not. Uh, yes, Robert, do you have a comment on that? Yes. I also note that if they approve um, two, three, and four, that will apply to the next vote. Yes. So, okay. So okay. that so that next vote may be in the straight and ballot vote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And so um how does this affect because the 
um, fiscal year ends June 31st, so or 30th. How does that? What happens? So we can borrow up to 87 percent of so we're the borrowing prior now. year's operating budget, okay. and we were borrowing anyways with our TAM, right? Okay. Um, so let's say if this goes, <coughs> if Article One is voted in the affirmative. Mm -hmm. Then we go to operating under borrowing money up to 87% of the current year budget. And we will have to pay interest on that. Uh, we're, yeah, we're mm -hmm. paying interest. Okay. Because, you know, it, it. let's say if you decided to warn this the week of July 10th, right? And then let's say that Article 1 was voted in the affirmative to re, to relook at the budget. Then, you know, the earliest we're probably getting a vote is, you know, late August. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's two months. Other of budget. Bills. Yeah, the budget. That we have to um, take a loan out. Yep. Okay. Um, help me. If we can only borrow 87%, that should cover us for the first yes. three months, shouldn't yes. it? So yes. I'm not worried about cash flow. Yeah. You know, I would say to you, Tara and I at First Branch, we had to go with a third budget vote. We waited until October and we were okay. You know, what I start to get really worried about is, you know, when your tuition bills start to come due. Yeah. Um, that's that's when we can start to have some cash flow issues. Okay. Uh, great. Uh, um... Just out of curiosity, a situation like this, what, what does it cost in interest? Tara, do you have a sense? Well, we just signed our new TAN, yeah. so. Right, so when you're when we get funded for the TAN, it's fully loaded and available to your treasurer to transfer from day one. So interest starts being charged against your tax anticipation note on day one. Okay. So it's a daily it's a daily calculated interest rate. We no, generally no. don't pay back the TAN until the end of the fiscal year unless we're flush with cash. Then sometimes some of the treasurers will pay it back mid-year. Um, but otherwise, the money that's when it's transferred, it's also then earning interest in your um, arbitrage account. Got it. Okay. So the more we're using that, the yes. opportunity to make interest on that. We would Got it. Okay, mm -hmm. but we've already we've already borrowed the money. But while it sits there, we earn interest on it. Yes. Got it. Okay. Which we've done well. I think last year we got like twenty thousand dollars in interest. I think. Yeah. So okay. Uh, any more questions on Article One? Um, then let's move on and just talk about the um, Australian ballot. Uh, the Australian ballot is something that um, uh, the previous um, Rochester School Board did their budget votes by Australian ballot, but I do believe our Rochester town does their budget votes by a floor vote. Is that correct? Yeah. I, 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 I believe so. And uh, I believe that Stockbridge has traditionally always done um, floor votes. Mm -hmm. Um, and the nice thing about a floor vote is that, um, you know, everybody is coming and listening to a presentation and, and getting their questions answered, you know, which I think is something that is important when you are considering um, considering a, a budget and a, moving forward. So, um, but I do, it, there definitely has been more people voting, uh, I do believe, at an Australian ballot. But then again, this, this, um, past meeting we had, we had a great attendance. I'm not, it was yeah, over a hundred and over a hundred people. Yeah. Um, yeah. A couple of things. One is it's the, um, participation rate, which is traditionally higher by Australian ballot. The second one is the opportunity to hear the arguments pro and con to ask questions, to dig into the issue. Um, and that's something that, is facilitated by a town meeting, or in this case, a school meeting. Uh, traditionally in New England, our town meetings have been by in person. And um, and uh, so this would go against that tradition for, in this case, the school. 
uh, annual meeting. Um, and uh, and I'm curious that whether or not this is leading to other uh, people proposing this or also proposing that we go to Australian ballot for the town meeting, and if so, why, and if not, why not? Uh, one thing we have going here is the fact that uh, the meet, our meeting is held at night, so that people working the normal nine to five job can participate. Secondly, we have child care um, so that parents can come and participate. And uh, this past year, we also had a meal. Um, and finally, the fourth thing that's, uh, is that we have our meetings in May when it's light, when the meeting is held, and it's light out when the meeting is adjourned. And all those things are different than our annual town meeting in March. Right. Um, Very cold. During, and during the day, where working people can attend, um, it's um, the um, and it's cold and it's icy and everything else can be in March. So. Um, I think this raises a very interesting question whether or not what's best for each community relative to how uh, the voters have an opportunity to to um, to participate and have their voices heard and I think goes beyond um, goes beyond uh, school board meetings uh, it goes to the heart of having a town meeting as well and so I'll be very curious to see how that so, so in our meeting that we're going to have, um, the similar to is it'll be moved. The article will be moved, and then they'll be open to to the voting population to discuss. Okay. Yeah, we'll have, we'll get our moderator there. That would be like it. Right. It'll be a moderated meeting. Right. And maybe at that time, um, you know, we should maybe say, you know, what the five minutes of comment, or maybe we, should, I don't know. But, you know, it, it, it's probably going to be a pretty good discussion. So I just want to make sure our moderator is um, able to control. control that and moderate that, you know, <laughs> with just with the guidelines on that today. So the other um, thing that's different between among other things, between having an annual, traditional annual town meeting held and school meeting held in person, is that if there's an amendment, uh, and frequently from time to time people move to increase or decrease or add something new, uh, that can be handled at that meeting. Sure. Uh, once you're switched to Australian ballot, all you can do is vote yay or nay, and then it goes back to um, the body, whether it's the select board, or it's the town meeting, or to the school board, or it's this, and they've got to figure out, or we have to figure out, what was the, what was the intent of the vote if it was negative? Right. How, how do we interpret that? At a regular meeting, the person stands up and says, I want to adjust it by X dollars, and we hear the argument, and then we can everybody in attendance can weigh that argument and the pros and the cons and impacts and make a decision. With the Australian ballot, it just says we don't like what's been proposed, but we don't know what uh, should be proposed, and we don't know how they want to do their trade-offs. So if, if we add this or subtract that, um, you don't have that. So uh, those are all things that uh, the upcoming media need to to consider discuss. seriously yeah. uh, before they make make their decision. Absolutely. Well, let's start looking at the calendar dates then. Um, nice dog. So, um, so we're starting at the tenth of July, um, and I know that. We traditionally, the, well, we, we don't have um, board meetings for the month of July to give our administration and business office uh, times for vacation. So I want to be sensitive to if there's any uh, pre-planned vacations in the office as well as in a, on our board here. 
I'm planning to be at horse showing on the week of the first and the fifteenth. Otherwise, I'm of right. July. Yeah. Yep. Plan to be. I missed that horse showing. Uh, I'm not in the office the week uh, of the first. Well, I'm, being, I'm there the first and second. Anyway, the, the week of the fifteenth is gonna impact. I'm not sure. The tenth. The, the tenth is the earliest. Yeah. Right. The tenth is the earliest. Well, we normally would be meeting on Monday, August fifth. Yeah. And does that fit within the, the sixty That's, days? That is the last 60th day. day. Okay. Yep. Um, July is very busy for myself, so um, that would I I would. I would think August 5th is be the 5th is when our meeting is anyway. Right. Any other JC? I'm not available August 5th because it's a uh, uh, White River Valley Players Performing Arts Camp performance. Day. Oh, okay. So I will be not available that night. Okay. Okay, other thoughts? I wrote down, so when I was looking, I had written down 723, 724 on August 5th. 723, 724. JC, are those the 23rd and 24th of July? Yeah, I don't have anything so far. Nope. Those days. That's right in the sweet spot of the morning period. It's a Tuesday and a Wednesday. What about the Monday, the 29th of July? We have our, our admin retreat in Killington with the VPA conference, but we could come over, Lindy and I. Oh, I think I was worried. Was that Rochester Select Board? No, they're the no? 22nd. Okay, maybe that's why I didn't. Um, I, I would prefer not to do it the 29th. Okay. Um, so the 23rd, 24th, or um, I mean, it'd be great if everybody could be here, but. Um, if somebody can't, then okay. Yeah, we find that somebody can't. It's just and 30th and 31st are no good. Or? Our admin retreats the 29th and oh. 31st. So. Oh, okay, gotcha. I worry if we're competing with the players camp, we have a lot of families signed up. August 5th, 6th, 7th, it, but like that's all our families. Yeah, right? yeah. That this would impact. Yeah. So let's look at the 23rd and 24th. Did you have that day? Both are fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Tuesday the twenty third. Tuesdays are good, I think. Okay. Tara, is that good for you? Works for me. Great. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to cancel that trip to the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot leave work in July, and you know that. <laughs> So it's in right. Vermont on July 23rd, and now we just have to set the time. All right. Um, seven, six, six thirty, seven. Are we doing a dinner before? I don't think we should do a dinner before. I don't either. I think that created some of the havoc. Yeah. Why is it? Um, how do we decide what campus we're? Coming? It has to be. It was because of the original consideration as a. It has to be the same place? Yes. Does it have to be the same time? It doesn't have to be the same time. Okay. Okay. Now, this was vetted by our attorney. We just got at least an hour earlier. Okay. 6.30. I need, I think anything later than 7 is really hard for families, even yeah. when we provide yeah. daycare. And I can't promise daycare um, in the summer. So we're not recommend either 6 or 6.30, and it still provides people to have something to eat. Yeah. Okay. 6 o'clock? July 23rd. Okay. Um, so I entertain a motion to improve the. I make a motion to adopt the. Adopt. This uh, the special meeting warning provided for the July 23rd at 6 o'clock. Um, Stockbridge campus. Motion on the floor. Is there a second? Second. Right. Any further discussion? Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 aye.
Great, so moved. Okay, is there any other business that we need to bring forth? It's... All right, take yes. I would suggest making a, a brief public comment. If there's any. Yeah, we can do that. Sure. So. Okay, sure. Um, uh, 6 p.m., right? 6 p.m. Great. So um, we're going to take another uh, brief public comment if there is any. Okay, well, thank you all for coming and please um, come on July 23rd with your comments, questions, and opinions. Thank you. I entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.